everyone, this is the color mixing on coffee filters video. So for this activity, really simple and easy. Um, before we start, I just wanna let you know the one thing that we didn't have in the instruction sheet is this paper towel. This is really a personal preference. I do this, that way it's easier for you guys to see all of my colors that are mixing. You can do it if you wanna soak up some of the water or you can just do it straight on the tray. Either one is perfectly fine. So you're gonna need the tray here to do this, that way it minimizes mess. You could also do it on a tablecloth if you would like. There is the coffee filters, the little cup of water, and I used one of our containers that we gave you in the bag, a plastic dropper, and the markers. And markers, you might have the skinnier set or you have the thicker set, either one is perfectly fine, they'll do the same way. So we're gonna start off by getting one of the coffee filters. Make sure we separate that here. And we're gonna flatten it out on top of our sheet to make that easy for us. And then we're just gonna draw a picture. You can do any design you want. I definitely wanna use some black and brown because black and brown have a very cool surprise when you actually mix them with color. So I wanna make sure to use those so that I can see all the cool mixing that happens when you put water on the black. And it also does similar with brown. And I wonder what you think why that happens. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add some more colors here. I'm just gonna do some different squiggles and designs here. I might even put a sun because the summer always makes me think of sunshine and being outside. So then I'm gonna put a sun in there. I might even put some waves because I always think of the beach or going to the pool in the summer, especially when it's nice and hot. And then I just also like purple, so I'm gonna put some purple on there and, and some green. So I'm gonna add some of those colors in there. Just give me a little bit. I might even put a little bit of red. Any design that you choose to do is perfectly fine. They're all gonna turn out wonderful when you do it. And I'm gonna add a few more dots here. And then we'll be ready to mix our colors. So now that we've done that, we're gonna need the plastic dropper. So before we start, I'm gonna remind and show any friends that do not know how to use a plastic dropper. So you're gonna put your dropper into the water. Then what you're gonna do is you're going to squeeze the middle and slowly release it to get the water in there. So let's try that again. So you're gonna put your dropper in here, then you're going to squeeze the center and slowly release. And that's how we catch some of that water. You don't need that much water to use, but then we're gonna try putting it on top. Let's see what happens. Now the colors are all starting to mix together. And I'll make some really cool designs here. I'm gonna add some more. So let's see what we have here. Look at, now look at the black that I have here. If you look at the black, I'm seeing lots of colors show through the black. I see some pink, some purple, some blue, and that is because so many colors make up black. When you mix a lot of colors together, it makes black. Just like if you ever do painting in school, you sometimes might get brown from mixing a lot of colors. It's similar to black, that if you keep mixing a lot of colors, it will do that. And once you get through all of this, once it's done and when you've gotten all of the colors you would like to mix together, after it's all done, you can hang it outside to dry if it's nice outside, or you can just lay it with a clip in your house, on your fridge to dry. Um, and then, once you're all done, you can hang them up and it's a nice little decoration as well. I hope you had fun doing this activity as well. So much fun. Well, have a great rest of the day, everyone.